Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In my time lapse about how my planner pages fill in during the day, I showed that I made a mistake shading in a portion of my hyperdex, but I was able to erase it somehow. This video is going to be about that. As you know, I use the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens for my Hyperdex. Here I am putting them into my new pen roll from Filed. I have a video about this pen roll in my channel and I will leave a link in the description box for you. I have been using these pens since around July 2017 and they're all I ever used for my Hyperdex. But because these pens are water-based, you can actually lift them with water. Let me show you. I have here a piece of Tomoe River paper which has the Hyperdex 7 printed on it. I have a video about how I use the Hyperdex 7 and I will link it down below. Let's say that I filled in a portion of this Hyperdex like so with this light green brush pen and let's say that it was a mistake for me to do so. I just take my water brush this one right here and this is also from Kuretake, same as the brush pen and I just scribble the brush over the light green alternately dabbing the paper and the brush with a piece of tissue as I go along. As you can see the color is gone now. It doesn't work for every color though for instance with this color called cobalt blue you will see that after we lay down the color and lift it using the same method, a very light blue tint remains on the paper. And if we use a much darker color, like this violet one, it leaves a bit of a mess. The same thing happens with a green brush pen, but of course that is only because I just carelessly scribbled over it with a water brush. If I am more careful, like in this instance, by applying the tip of the water brush only to the exact area that we want to erase, you can see that the effect is much neater. However, a tint of color still remains because this green right here is a dark color. Let us see if we can get the same results if the brush pens have already settled onto the paper a bit before trying to erase them. I'm putting down the light green, the violet, and the green. It is now 12.32 in the afternoon and I will leave this for now for several minutes. At 12.59, I was done having lunch and now let's see if these lift okay. The light green still lifted without a problem. The violet still lifted as well but it had the same stain as before. And the green one also left a stain just like before. This will not give perfect results for dark colors, but if you use only light colors like the light green, this would totally work. And if you're not too bothered by the light tint or stain that remains after erasing a dark color this way, then this is an easy way to repair or save a project. And of course, I also need to mention that this will work only with papers that can take wet media, like for instance, the Tomoe River paper that we are using right now, the Midori MD paper, and watercolor papers. Ordinary paper might disintegrate if you put too much wet media on it. And I just wanted to share this with you. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye!